Hi everybody, it's Dina and I'm back with another video. is my finished bag o day pattern of the week and this is week number I think it's 13 but um, oh great hang on yep it was week number 13 and this is the pattern I did and I apologize this video is going to be very quick um, I, I'm leaving today, it's Friday morning, April 1st, to bring my son to another college tour in Boston. And we're running late, as usual, So, but I wanted to get this video up. Um, okay, so I really liked this pattern. I love this stitch. This is the um, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. I think this gives one of the best textures um, in crochet. I really love it. Um, super easy pattern. She, I really like this pattern because you can customize the size. It's done by measurements um, and she teaches you how to do that. So um, if you've never made a garment, I suggest you try this pattern. It's, it's wonderful for that. And as always, this is my way of supporting Crystal, that who we love so much. Um, I support her by purchasing her pattern or I pick a pattern from the thumb drive. And um, then I watched the YouTube tutorial from beginning to end. Now, um, this one I watched a couple of times because she really does go into teaching a lot of good about the measuring and sizing and stuff. Um, okay, she used the Lion Brand Pima Cotton, which is 100% cotton, number four yarn. And she used a, um, I think on the video she said six millimeter. This says five and a half millimeter hook, but not sure. Um, now I used this yarn that I've never used before. It's called Feels Like Heaven by Lion Brand. I love this yarn. It's 246 yards, 225 meters. It's 100% nylon. Um, it, it's a size three and the color that I used is dusty pink. I was going to use this um, Black Friday cotton, but when I finished filming my last video, I saw this sitting on my shelf and I've been wanting to try it for a while and I thought this would be a great garment. This yarn is really wonderful for garments. It has such beautiful drape. Um, it splits a little bit. It's not, it's not, um, it's not unbearable. I used my um, clover hook. Let's see. I used this hook, my clover 5.5. And it, it split very infrequently. Okay, so what did I use? I used four, almost four complete. I have like a quarter, maybe a little more than a quarter left. Um, of these balls. I would highly recommend this yarn. It's it's absolutely, it's so soft. It has incredible drape, really great yarn. Now I was gonna pair it with this cause this looks so pretty with it, but I decided to keep it plain and simple. Um, and I might make like a spring decorative scarf, um, you know, like a really thin one that you kind of, you know, cause it really looks pretty with this. I might do that. Okay. So here is the finished garment. The only changes I made were to the sleeves. Um, I didn't want it like the, this is more like t-shirt style sleeves. I wanted it to be just a hair dressier. So I made them a little bit um, bigger and then decreased a couple more times to give it more of like a little puff. That's the only changes I made. Everything else is exactly the same and I love it. This drape, I'm telling you guys, if you're looking for an incredible yarn to make a garment with, and I'll put the price up here somewhere because um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but I'll look it up online and see how much it goes for. Uh, but this, this is absolute perfect, perfect for if you want a drapey, beautiful garment. So let me bring you guys closer. So if you look at this gorgeous texture, isn't that beautiful? 
and it has a nice square neckline. And you can see how my sleeves ripple. That's the biggest difference. And mine's bigger. And here's the back. It's just very simple, but the texture, it's absolutely gorgeous. Highly recommend this. Sleeves. Oh, I love it so much. I was debating packing it and bringing it with me. I might, and if I do that, I'll take a picture of me in it. Oh, love it. So that's okay. that. Um, so I give this another two thumbs up <laughs> pattern. And if you're looking to learn how to make a garment, I think this is a great pattern to start with. It looks so complicated with this incredible stitch, but it's really not. It's just every other stitch. And that's the only thing you really have to be mindful of is that you're doing every other because with the increases, it gets a little tricky um, what to do, but if you actually not only read the pattern, but follow the tutorial, it's super easy and it comes out really beautiful. This is just her shirt underneath, but it's very, very pretty. Okay, I, I'm going to put a picture up of what I'm doing next because I have not picked yet. I think I'm gonna pick one of her baskets um, since Easter's coming up and everything and I need some baskets in this room. I'm always having like loose things all over. So I'd like to have some nice crocheted baskets. So I'm probably gonna be, pick, be picking one of her baskets and that'll be week number 14. So. For all of those joining me and doing these patterns, thank you so much. And thank you so much for posting your pictures on Facebook. I love seeing them. And if you haven't joined me, give it a try. These patterns are so easy and they're a great, great way to expand your crochet. Um, and post a picture on my Facebook group, which will be linked down below if you are taking part in it. Okay, everybody. I hope you guys are all doing great and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.